Hello everyone, uh, this is Satoshi Yamamoto. Uh, welcome back to my time bench. Um, this is the Coyote version 2. Uh, I just tied, you know, and then uh, actually it took me a while um, um, to, to think, think about and to come up with a uh, second generation Coyote from my uh, original Coyote. Let's do here. And then, uh, but the uh, once, um, I uh, um, kind of, kind of gathered, you know, all the information, um, all, all of my idea, you know, uh, bits and pieces in my head, and then uh, um, by then I got kind of uh, too many of them <laughs> in my head. So uh, actually, once version two uh, was born, actually. Uh, version 3 it was um, uh, born simultaneously so um, version 2 and version 3 are almost like a twins you know uh, so what, what happened was rather than to combine all the idea uh, in one place one, in one fly I made it I kind of separated it and then uh, created two of them so uh, key let's uh, get started Hook. Let me stabilize my camera by doing this. The commercial break. <laughs> okay, camera must be focusing on my uh, card here. Leftyangla.blogspot.com. Okay, it should be fine. Okay. Uh, hook. Uh, salmon still head hook. Black finish. Up eye. Size eight. Uh, thread is again ultra thread 140 um, uh, band orange. Okay, always at the point. So, like I said, two and three are twins. So, um, tail comes from golden pheasant crest. I need one more. Just about um, uh, hook shank lengths, measure that, or transfer that, tie in. Very good. Next, I'm going to tie in this uh, uh, having my camera focus on it, Langachan, uh, French tinsel, made in France, uh, size fine, and then uh, apparently gold, this is a really beautiful uh, material, okay, alright, so bear with me, Going to another another uh, orange <laughs> uh, body thread body. I'm tapering and tapering patterning here. up okay even space even moving got it okay from now okay let me make sure which your camera's reading. Okay. Uh, now from here you will see some difference. Okay. Thorax. I'm going to use this all switch premium. This one happens to be 
very kind of thin, kind of skinny fibers here. So I use probably five or six at once and um, tying all of them at once. This one kind of a little bit twisted. Want a fluffy thorax here. Very good. Okay. Next material, the next step is, well, it's going to be a wing. So indeed, these are the feathers from uh, um, just, just, this one's just a domestic wet fly cape. Oh, I, I, one can use a uh, hen cape, which I'm not sure next. Okay, for the color here, um, I um, apparently this grizzly is one idea. This uh, angle on the pro uh, proportion longer than the tail. Side by side, actually both sides, I mean. So indeed, this version 3 is uh, uh, almost like a spruce fly, spruce fly, you know, streamer. So I call this Coyote version 3, spruce coyote. And the last, but not the least, is again pheasant rump. For the cola, hako. I could I could call it cola because this is essentially a streamer. Yeah. Uh, spring loaded um, a hako plier. So I'm not using uh, after shaft plume on this one. So. I'm going to finish with this round feather. Made three turns. I like this touch of brown. Wet my fingers with my saliva. Fold back fibers. Okay, create a neat head. Before we finish, just apply this beeswax on my thick thread. This is the Coyote version 3, uh, Spruce Coyote, with a grizzly uh, uh, wing. Okay, so, um, since I couldn't, um, I already made a, <laughs> a partial fly here. Okay, let, let this stabilize just in case. Um, okay, grizzly is apparently, you know, um, beautiful. I mean, uh, time proven um, fishing and you know, fish attracting uh, um, uh, color, but uh, uh, also um, I always also thought about this uh, badger. Uh, this is a kind of mottled brown. This can be also good. So let me tie with a badger feather. See how it looks, and then. Uh, you might find some other, you know, favorite color of yourself. 
Good angle, proportion, hold that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta attach thread first. <laughs> I just, okay, let's say, let's say, let's say, I just, I just measure the feather, that's all. <laughs> let's get started. Now, I know that the uh, feathers are already measured. measured. Angle, pair up, length perfect, side by side, on each side of the hook, slightly cupped well, that's good, I just, I lapped uh, some uh, stems on purpose, but this can be a I'll make a mistake. Okay, can you see it? Okay. <laughs> okay, again. Uh, last material is present rump. Two wraps, try to make one more. There you go. Oh, automatically came off, that's good. Okay, fold back fibers here. Make a nice little head. Beeswax and we've finished. Okay, this is uh, Coyote version three with a uh, uh, ginger feather, ginger wing. Maybe I should call it. Uh, uh, version 3-2 or whatever um, so this fry uh, can be used as a, again for the fall soft taco and also uh, 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 apparently this is a, like I said it, it definitely is a spruce fly so uh, uh, as a streamer you know swing and strip you know and then the twitch uh, and then I tested this for fall and brown trout in, uh, I mean, active brown trout or rainbow trout in the fall uh, at the Madison Yellowstone River and even at the Depute Spring Creek. It's it's catching fish. Uh, oftentimes, uh, this I think this uh, um, the movement of this uh, rump feather and the wing caused some irritation among those a huge territorial uh, brown trout and they come to attack they seem to chase and attack these flies you know this streamer uh, soft aqua whichever you define so um, these these definitely uh, can, you know catch fish and then a uh, great fly to keep in your box and then uh, okay last note is so now I, I made a coyote uh, original coyote version 2 and version 3 uh, I call it, you know, Coyote Trilogy. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, uh, end of Trilogy. There will be no Coyote uh, version 4. Uh, I have uh, you know, three kinds, three designs. Um, I think that's uh, good and, uh, you know, that's enough for me. Uh, so I go to the next step, you know. So thank you for watching uh, and for being a fan of my Coyote. So, um, uh, until I come up with the next um, uh, pattern. So, uh, 
Well, uh, get some tied up and then uh, go fishing and let me know how you do. Uh, have a nice day. Bye.